this morning. I'm joined by Wayne Roberts, one of the depot's fire protection specialists. Good morning, Wayne. Good morning. It's a pleasure to have you with us. Good to be here. Fire Prevention Week is in process. Talk to us about the theme and what it means to our workforce. Okay, well this year's theme is every second counts have two ways out. And that, that only per, that not only pertains to work, but at home also. They're trying to get everyone to understand that in the event of an accident, a fire, or some kind of emergency, I always know that there's more than one way out. Okay, and the depot has certain requirements that it has to adhere to, that is, as it relates to fire prevention. Talk to us about some of those things that every employee should know and adhere to. Okay, in certain areas we have permitted hot work, such as welding areas, but in, in most areas they're not. So if you have to do anything that pertains to using a spark, you have to get a hot work permit through the fire department. You can contact us, we'll come out, check the area, make sure that it's okay, and then issue a permit for that. And not only that, we also have regulations as far as heaters. As a, if you have a space heater in areas, this is a time of year when everyone starts getting their little heaters out. And they, they have to be UL approved, they have to have a tip over protection, and they have to be thermostat controlled. And with that, you can call us, we'll come out, write a permit for it, and permit it for that specific area. Okay, so those of uh, us <laughs> who in, may uh, use a heater this year, we certainly need to get on the list so you guys can make a, uh, a call and ensure that that permit is, is up to date. Very much. Thank you. Each building has an evacuation coordinator who does conduct, uh, conduct fire safety checks each month. Talk to us about them. Okay, so this helps us as far as a inspection process. There's only four of us fire inspectors on depot. So each building has an evacuation coordinator, primary and secondary, which is appointed by their supervisor or directorate. With that, they come to training once a year with us, and then they help us do the checks for the building as far as they have a checklist where they check the building for certain things they'll be looking for, like fire extinguishers, um, emergency lighting, those kind of things, and we kind of help them see as to what they need to look for. And then they also have that sheet where they check all the fire extinguishers in their area and let us know if anything needs to be changed or if, or if they're, as long as everything's okay, then they send that sheet to us once a month. Okay, and if there are um, fire evacuation coordinators or just an average employee who has additional questions following today's show, uh, should they call fire department, you yeah, or? They can call and ask for some, one of the inspectors for their building. They, they just need to give us their building number. And they, when they call the fire department, they'll put, us in, they'll put them in touch with which inspector has their building. And they can call us at 6171 or 6172. Okay. Well, Wayne, we certainly thank you for joining us this morning. And thank you for bringing attention to the importance of fire safety and protection. Thank you.